叫耶稣在拉萨卡布雷拉，我来自委内瑞拉。I just felt this as a photographer, this sense of adventure, you know, like going to a different country and try good luck. Before coming to Shenzhen, Jesus Salazar was a geologist back in his home country. Through his work, he began getting involved in photography and taking many landscape photos. Salazar came to Shenzhen three years ago. Photography is his passion. I feel that photography allows me to try to understand what is surrounding me. Usually, he carries his camera with him and walks onto the streets of Shenzhen. He communicates with local people using his not so fluent Chinese. After winning their trust, he takes some photos of them until he gets a satisfying shot. For a while, I was、uh, just going to the parks in the morning, and I find fascinating how different people get together in the park. So you see people maybe like doing exercises with like a metal whip, but this is completely strange for me. Some other people doing tai chi, some other people playing different instruments. So what I felt is like, in my understanding, without knowing any Chinese, just arriving. Like my understanding was, oh, you know, Shenzhen is the city that unites all part of China. And my overall impression is that Chinese people is really, really open to be taken for. That was something very surprising and very that I'm very grateful because allowed me again to explore one side of photography that I was not able. The first time I was shy, like、oh, they would lie, they would not like. But after so many positive experience, I say, oh, this is so a nice things about Chinese culture and, and especially here in Shenzhen that people is quite open to be taken photos, and that's amazing for me. So it's a really nice, grateful experience for me to be taking photos in Shenzhen. Through his lens, we get many snapshots of Shenzhen, as well as the changes that the city has gone through. Somebody showed me Shenzhen Bay like one week after I arrived. I fell in love in this place. So I was going there taking photos, and I find this tree that is just 20 meters away from the metro station. At that moment, there was not a metro station. So I say, "Oh, this tree is really beautiful. I will start taking photos." As long as I live in Shenzhen, but then last year there was a typhoon and broke the the tree. And I say, oh, you know, like my project、uh, disappear. At the beginning of this year, Shenzhen launched the first Expats I Shenzhen photo contest. Once informed of the news. Jesus searched through all the photos he has taken of the city over the past three years, and selected ones that he thought would be best for submission. But actually, I went that day, and and the tree was broken, but it was on the part of the branches was were on the water, and I find that quite beautiful, and. A bird just came and put himself there. So I just see the image and I say, "This is perfect," you know, because many times when you get this idea of Chinese paintings, you always find like water or a waterfall, maybe a branch and a, and a bird. And I, I, I kind of put all that in my head together and say, "Everything is here." Uh, and say this is an amazing opportunity.、Uh, I need to take this photo. So I took several photos until I get the one that I put in the contest. When I show my photo and I put it in, in, in social media, people from Venezuela or from other countries are seeing. 
what is this? This is insane too. But it looks like it's in a lake in, in a mountain far away from ev for it, from everywhere. But what, what, what I feel is like seeing Jenga these places where you can feel peaceful and alone in a city of 20 million people. And, and I find that's quite impressive. All his efforts over the years have paid off. Standing out of nearly 100 contestants from over 20 countries, he fetched three awards. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first Weissat I Shenzhen Auto Contest Award Ceremony. At the award ceremony held on June 19th, standing together with other award winners, Jesus received honor and encouragement from the city of Shenzhen. I saw how many people put their photos. I know some of the winners of the other winners, some of the other photographers. I know them. Amazing and talented photo photographer. I'm an architect practicing landscape design here in Shenzhen. So I have been working in Shenzhen for the past year and a half as a teacher. Uh, it's very dynamic. There's so much variety that I can choose from. All the award-winning photos were exhibited on site at the ceremony. The entries were abundant in imagination and creativity and perfectly portrayed our city's landscape, culture and art, and natural scenery as well as the photographer's deep love for the city. So the other photo uh, is of my friend Kate, and we went to explore the Nanto ancient village, and I just wanted to take a picture of her peeking inside the temple because I thought it just looked very beautiful. I used a drone to take the photo, and basically I looked for a place that I could safely take off, uh, and then once I found a, a nice building uh, with a good background, I, I used, uh, it's called the AEB, which is auto exposure bracketing. I took many, many photos of the same building and then in Lightroom I put it together and then just made a very uh, dynamic picture with it. Okay, I'll enter that in the contest. This contest is quite important for us because this contest encourage and gives opportunity to photo uh, hobbies like me to have a platform to share our beautiful and interesting photos about Shenzhen. I really enjoy uh, taking photos in Shenzhen because I feel that the city really inspires me to want to go out and take photos. I think it's a fantastic idea. I want to thank, truly and honestly thank to all the person I'm sending by you because it's such an amazing initiative and I think that push all photographers, uh, foreign photographers in the area to keep doing and portraying this amazing city.